Welcome back to Kakarot. Look at that, we got that Batman shirt. No, I haven't finished my clip bar. Mm. Too fucking bad. I'm trying this to is your fault for This is your fault for recording. Mm. We're, uh, we're in the, the uh, we're in the interlude between sagas right now, which is like the only time to really collect shit. I like, so you just earned 5,000 XP and it means, almost 6,000 and it means nothing. Yeah, very little. Uh, you, like, this, this is how you farm. Surprise attack! Oh, that was cool. This is how you farm in the mid game, or how you farm in general for like orbs and stuff, because uh, these guys are worth like shit for XP, but they give you a bunch of the orbs that you need to level up your skills. Right. Apparently you can do like combo attacks too. Sure. Oh. I don't know. There, there are a bunch of mechanics in this game that I have either not chosen to explore or have not been properly explained to me. Mm. But yeah, so long as you're like five levels higher than the enemies, as long as, like, when you fly through them, you just kill them instantly. That's good. I like that. Yeah, we, we, you showed that to me before. Yeah, it's, it's weird though, like, I don't know. It feels like every enemy is kind of pointless to fight, and no matter what, they're worth, like, shit for XP, so... Like, even that. Those guys that were, like, several levels higher. Oh, but you leveled up, though. Yes, so, hey. and I have a party so that they're all gaining the benefits right now. Good. Yeah. And right now, uh, I'm flying around collecting the Dragon Balls, which is probably what this episode's gonna mostly be like. Oh, where are you at? There you are. Now you're dead. I like how you backed into him and killed him. Yeah. And we'll probably fight some of the, uh, oh, once the game decides it wants to exist. There we go. Cool. Uh, we'll probably fight some of the higher level things just to trigger a cutscene. But I think I got all the Dragon Balls on this map. Yes, okay, so uh, we're going to go check out Blake Bog. Blake Bog. Blake Bog. Blake Bog. Sounds like a porn name. I, does it though? A little. I, I mean, I would a, not a, re a really bad porn name. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't want to fuck a dude named Bog. What about Blake Bogley? <sighs> Uh, no, get Bog out of the name. I don't know, man. Like, just that little bit of dankitude. So here's where uh, we initially ran into all those, like, quote-unquote, high power level things. Uh, I'll, I'll take the chance to actually fight them now because they're actually absolutely dog shit now. So. Isn't that a little... Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder why they're even here. Oh my god, what is that? It's one of these. Oh, that's cool. And this thing is a Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, you can collect the Dragon Balls now, I forgot yep. about that. Uh, it's an interesting mechanic, but come on, just grab the fucking thing, Vegeta. This is hilarious. There, there you go. go. What is the tracking on those, even? Alright, let's... Let's see, because this thing shouldn't even be close to my level anymore. Yeah, they're only level 29. In theory, I should be able to fly through them, but I don't think it'll let me. Ruin their whole asshole. Yeah. Remember that they spawned on the map when you were level 8. Right. Or like, less than 10, I know that much. When you were far too low a level, I think it was like closer to like 13 or 14, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I feel like most of the teams were spent on Namek and then through massive power boosts, they didn't matter at the end. Yeah, uh, this is like one of the only times in the game where you can actually travel with a, squ a squad of your choosing and you can actually choose who you want to play as. Mm. So since Vegeta has this attack, I choose Vegeta. Also for various other reasons. Right. Yeah, you showed him. All right, so that one's dead. Should, uh, yeah, there are a fuck ton more, okay. Actually, do me a favor. Can I uh, see how much more XP it's gonna take for him to level up? I wanna it's, just, oh. it, it's. Is it like I mean, 300,000 or something right now? I'm, I'm just curious. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, he, he currently has battle points of blah, 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 blah. Uh, two next level is, tw yep, it is. Yeah, 243,000. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is, wow. Those mean nothing. Almost a Frieza's power level worth. Come on. Show me where you are. In the quest to make sure that you can't overlevel yourself. They've made these battles pointless. That is such a... Uh. Yeah, I, I love that you can find the super-powered ones because they're weaker than the normal ones that spawn now. 
There they are. And here I come. Oh, hold on. oh, he was too strong for me to plow through. Disgusting. Okay. Oh, and by the way, somebody finally pointed out what happens when you uh, burst. Yeah? Um, apparently, there's no cooldown on your supers anymore. Oh, well. Which is neat, but yeah, that, that's the problem. Ultimately unnecessary. I know that when you burst, you can do like, uh, if you say fire your beam attack multiple times in a row, you'll teleport to where the enemy is first. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> I will proceed to not give a demonstration. Because I, I do not respect bursting. The disrespect? The disrespect is real. Hey, do you not want to fight me? There you are. It doesn't want to fight you. It's only level 31. You're this. level 34. That did not end it, Piccolo. You said that would end it, but it didn't end it. Why would you lie to everybody like that, Piccolo? You're supposed to be honest. You're supposed to be the best of us. I kind of feel like he's not. I, I feel like he mellows out super hard, and he kind of is by the end of the day. I mean, he's generally better than the normal person, but... If you gave Piccolo the power of, like, what Goku and Vegeta had by the end, I think no problems would ever exist. Do you think Piccolo would be one of those guys who would, like, search the galaxy for evil and kill them all? I feel like he would. I, t I feel like he'd totally become, like, the Punisher of the universe. I, I think... I think Gohan might do that. I don't think Piccolo is the kind of like savior of the galaxy attitude. I think he I think he defends what's his. Hmm. I don't know, because as time went on, he kind of be like, especially after he fuses with Kami, I think he feels like like he's morally responsible for all evil because of like do you think it's do you think it's a thing where it's like he's trying to undo the bad he put out there? Wipe I mean, for God's clean. sakes, I mean, GT would fucking tell you that. that I like, deserve to go to hell. That was so stupid. Uh, but we could both leave. No. No. No, I, this is right. I'm gonna stay here. It's like, how? But we can just wish you out. No. Like, the, like the funny thing is, I know, it's like, yeah, you're the reincarnation of, like, fucking, uh, Piccolo Daimao, but at the same time, I would like to point out, okay, so, in Z... They uh, point out that Vegeta is has committed too many atrocities, and thus he will certainly go to hell. Mm -hmm. um, Piccolo, I mean Piccolo even says that to him. It's yeah. like, no, you're going to hell, man. Yeah, Piccolo, the reincarnation of the Demon King Piccolo. Thus, we must assume likely shares the same soul. Uh, is not that evil. Because after he fights the Saiyans... Yeah, but he, like, he did a lot to earn his redemption. Meanwhile, Vegeta's last actions were I like, literally... I'd like to point out that he did nothing to earn that. He fought the Saiyans and then died. He, he, sa okay. he saved a child. He fought the Saiyans and then continued to try to protect the planet. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's like... I, I guess that shows the, the capacity and actual growth of the character. Uh, meanwhile, pick, uh, meanwhile, Vegeta... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. meanwhile, Vegeta's last actions... Previous to you know trying to stop Boo for ultimately selfish re well ultimately uh, selfless reasons but still kind of selfish because he's only doing it for the people he cares about. His some of his last actions were literally just to slaughter a couple hundred maybe even thousands of innocent people. Yeah, and more importantly, his entire life had been garbage. Actually, you know what? I think it's a good point. That that you know what you you've raised an amazing point because Vegeta literally does nothing good until Boo. He literally does nothing good. Yep. Anybody who says, well, he saved a character or two along the way, yeah, for his own selfish reasons. Yeah, because he, he, not... he wanted to live, and or he wanted to fight them, or something, something, something. Yeah, he didn't. He did not save Gohan because he cared about Gohan. He saved Gohan because he was an asset. Vegeta he... is a strategist. Yeah. Vegeta literally does nothing good until the Boo Saga. It's the first time he does anything worth, or like, actually selfless, and that's when he kills himself against Boo. Otherwise, he has been the worst. He, he does cause almost all the problems. Yes. Yeah, no, he causes, like... Cell wouldn't be perfect without him. He, uh, so he goats Frieza into transforming into his second form. Which Frieza would have done anyway, let's be honest. True. Um, he lets Cell absorb uh, the androids. 
Uh, mm -hmm. at least 18 yeah. at that point. Um, he literally, like, just allows himself to become evil because he's having a midlife crisis. Yep, and that allows Boo to come out. He, he is the catalyst to all the play. Like, he, Vegeta is the MacGuffin. Yep. All right, so we beat all those, and now... A special one? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, they, they just showed up. They're here now. N Raditz and Nappa are back. For reasons. They came back from hell and they want their revenge. And I haven't even used the Dragon Balls to wish them back. Let's go fight them. Let's go beat the hell out of it's them. A, it's a quick rematch. I mean, I think they're uh, Hell back into them? Yeah. Beat them back to hell. Let's take a while to travel from point to point. You'd think when Goku learns instant transmission, you'd be able to go whoop, 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 wherever you want, but oh, not. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, it, it is literally never a device in the game. Oh man, we haven't even seen Goku back yet. No, he's he's still out there on Yard Rat. Oh wow, long time no see! <laughs> Shut up, King Kai. Be on guard. Be on guard! On guard! Oh wow. Level 38. I mean, I know that's stronger than me, but... Actually, yeah, 38's pretty good. Is at it? Least, oh, we'll give us... Don't give us... Will they? No. Maybe. By the way, so, uh, I wasn't sure why you, uh, why you were, so, like, why you expressed yourself the way that you did when I talked about the final flash. Uh-huh. I can't wait till we get there. Oh right? my fucking god. It's gonna be so great to see. Oh my god. Anybody who's like experiencing this game through us, get ready. Yeah, get ready for uh, get ready for the final flash like you've never seen it before. Because it is uh, it is a sight. I don't. Vegeta doesn't do gifts. He's just gonna regift. Yeah. Nappa, stop being a dick just because I blew you up. I mean, he totally had it coming. I mean, I'm not saying Vegeta doesn't deserve it. I'm just saying he can stop being an asshole for a second. Yeah, that's enough that I actually have to use my Super So for a bit. Give him that. I mean, yeah, they're higher level than you, so they're going to hit harder. The levels in this game don't really mean a whole hell of a lot. At, past a certain threshold, they absolutely do. When you're only doing like one damage per shot or some shit, but... Well, it's kind of that... How, what is that scale? I, don't know. I forget, but like... Two is literally twice as much as one. But 38 is not that much higher than, say, 34. Yeah. Finish the trash mob first, and then focus on that. Oh. Oh, he likes that swipe. Wait, was one of higher power than Mappa? Yes. What the fuck is that about? I don't know. Oh, Raditz got to hell sooner, so he got to train down there for longer. Ah, yes. Hell training. Yes. So much for rehabilitating the souls, am I right? It was rehabilitation. You know, part Just of, made part him stronger so he could go back to Earth and fuck more shit up. Hey, look, rehabilitation sometimes includes fitness, you know? You gotta have a healthy body to have a healthy mind. One of the ways I deal with my anxiety is that I work out. One of the ways that Raditz helped to deal with his genocidal nature was just some extra push-ups, chin-ups, uh, some cardio. Eating healthy, kale. What was that? Have a kale salad with a little bit of black and salmon. It's good shit. I was too far away. Here we go. That'll do. And we win. Nap time. Only Oh, an what? Man. Ha, he's taking I'm... a dirt nappa. Ah. I lost my touch. You lost your power. And... <laughs> it seems my calculations oh, ho, ho. Correct. oh, no. What? Get out of here. Welcome to the multiverse, bitch. No. Why are you here? Don't be You're so the... mad. Oh. Queen, Un Queen Underboob is here. I know, but Toa and Nier are so lame. I know, and this like this is directly connected to the story of Xenoverse 2, because Mira is still a fucking brain 
Blood and Clout. Ah. I know that like there's an extended universe beyond like the manga and super, um, you know, with with all the fucking hero stuff and Xenoverse, but they're lame. I know that some You're people not a true fan. Some people probably really like them and they're probably really fun, but I just don't. You're not a real fan. You only ever watched the anime and read the manga. Yeah. And read all the interviews. You're not you're not a real fan. Real fans make the porn. Level 50. Never mind. Oh, come on. I thought you said that, uh, that... I said past a certain threshold. Mm. And I think nearly 20 levels is that threshold, if I were to put it bluntly. Uh, did I already get the Dragon Ball here? If so, nearly I 20. Just go. More like 15. Oh, you're What's right. 15? You're right. 15 levels. I guarantee if I went and fought him, though, I'd only be doing one damage a, bit, uh, a shot, though. Oof. Harsh. Which, while winnable, not fun. Not fun. Not fun to watch, not fun to do. Not fun at all. In any direction. At all. Amen. Uh. By the way, I I I had to go back and rewatch that scene with fucking Vegeta getting blown out of the air by Krillin. Oh, right? Yeah. Just, ah! No. We have a side quest here, and Yum. we have Dragon Balls here. More, more Poir. Ah, God damn it, I need to be Gohan. Well, then be Gohan. I don't want to be Gohan. You'd think you, you'd have to choose... Oh, you did. Okay, I thought you chose characters. Never mind. Yo, Poir, what's up? What's up, baby? Oh, thank God, somebody I can count on. Uh, what about it? Dude's back. He's alive. Let him worry about his own life there, Poir. Poir, you were the on person him? to do this. He went into the motel like two hours ago. I don't know what he's doing in there, but it, there's... I heard screaming. Please check on him. High masculine screaming. Ah! 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 <laughs> One Let's go check on cool one cool dude. dude. Man, that Yamcha, he sure is one cool dude. It's, oh, you know, it's a good thing that you can't destroy any of these buildings like you can those rocks. Yeah. Don't want a man of steel, West City. I'm just gonna spy on his date. Oh, Yamcha. Ah, yes. The hottest of girls. Yeah, she's fine. She's got them bags under her eyes. She's, she, she hasn't slept in a while. Probably Yamcha's fault. Yamcha, you sleazeball! Oh, no! Pearl! Come on. Who's this? Oh, he's, oh dating no. the, he's dating the crystal gems. Oh, right! Poor... Oh, poor damn it! Yeah. Wait. You know what? No. This is kind of his fault. He said he was going on dates every day. Yeah. <clears throat> it's okay, don't worry. I can bang both of you. Just take turns. There's more there's more than enough dick for both of you guys. Plenty of wolf fang dick. Do you think he howls at the end? Oh, how could he not? I know. Ice cream! Are you S fucking kidding me? Slight overreaction. Oh my god! Slight overreaction, if I were to put it mildly. Everybody has defense death robots. Yeah, Jesus Christ! I mean, where do you think Red Ribbon got all its funding? I should probably help. I want to see the commercial for these things. Creepy guys, got you bummed out? Well, don't worry. Skull Robo Type 3 is ready for you. By the way, these robots are uh, statistically stronger than Frieza. My god. At least level-wise. 
I'm sure Frieza had a lot more health, etc., etc. I like to think that Joro's just been making the androids stronger and stronger based off the information that he's got. But he hasn't even seen Frieza yet. Yeah, but then all again, the Earth data still only has the Saiyan attack. And, but uh, seventeen and eighteen were stronger than Frieza. Oh yeah, by far. So. But he had seen Frieza by then. Or at least his nano board said. Wait, no, they couldn't have because he doesn't know what a Super Saiyan is. You know, hey, isn't that interesting? 17 and 18 are absolutely stronger than Frieza. Um, oh, right, they had behavioral issues. Yeah, it was the fact that they kept trying to kill him. Yeah. Meanwhile, 19 is strong. <clears throat> it's not as strong as Super Saiyan Goku, but... Comparable, you could say. What like, if, if 19 got a hold of Frieza, I bet 19 might be able to win. What if he's as strong as... Uh... That was kind of scary. Okay. Oh no! Yamcha! Oh no. Are you kidding me? You say it's a meme in Japan. They meme it hard. Yeah. Hey. I mean, we still have that curled up Yamcha figure. I remember when I punched a hole in that coffee table. He fit in perfectly. Yep. It was kind of perfect, actually. <laughs> oh my hey, god! Now they're lesbians. Yep! Yep! I'm fine, Port! How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Who needs this guy when they got each other? Fuck it. Who needs men? Not them. That's for certain. Mm -hmm. Find your own happiness. Don't let the world try to define it for you. That's the lesson they learned. And don't date Yamcha. That's a, de that's a lesson we could all learn. Cut the, uh, cut the toxic Yamchas out of your life. <laughs> toxic Yamchasicity. <laughs> Yum salinity? Eh, eh, come on, there we go. Yum sanity. Yum sanity. Please tell me this mountain isn't too high for me to fly over. I hate it when I have to like reroute because the world map doesn't allow you. There, there we go. go. I got a bad feeling about that city. Boys, boys, please. You know, it, it is rather funny to me, though, that a lot of people um, have gotten on our case for bagging on Yamcha. But at the same time, I gotta be like, guys. Y Yamcha like, is the Jerry of fucking DBZ. Yeah. He always has been. He's always, always been the butt of the jokes. He's, he's the one that's been forgotten all the time. He's the one that jobs the hardest in literally every tournament arc. I mean, for God's sakes, he didn't even get invited to the... Univer uh, the uh, Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power, and that was a joke. That was the fucking point of like his character in that arc, is that he wants to be invited, and he doesn't. Yeah, they invited Roshi over him. Yeah. The old man. That means, it, by everybody's recollection, Yamcha never surpassed Roshi. Although if you, it, it, you know, gun to my head, ask me who do you want, Roshi or Yamcha, I'm going to pick Roshi because he's fun. Yeah. Also, he actually had a couple of really decent moments in the tournament. Probably more decent than Krillin had. I do love the bait and switch they pulled with that opening before the Tournament of Power. That was pretty with, sick, uh, I won't lie. Boo, and then they swapped it out. Yeah, good move on their part. Shut up, King Kai, I don't need your help. Gohan never meets King Kai. <laughs> we made that joke. Yeah, in uh, in, in Broly. Broly. I think I can handle this. Hey, go on, you get to meet King Kai. Oh, cute. Some people thought that was a little dark, but I'm like, dude, it's Goku. He <laughs> and gonna, everything's gonna turn out fine, and death to him means nothing. Yeah, death in Dragon Ball means nothing. Yeah, so he's like, oh well, he'll die, but we all have. Give it some time. You're hanging with the right crowd. Although it takes Gohan the longest to die out of all of them. Um, yeah, kind of. I think he's, I think he's one of the last main characters to actually die in the uh, whole series. And Mr. Satan is literally the only Earthling never to die, unless you count him dying in Resurrection F. Which I guess we have to. Yeah, I mean he was on Earth, even if time got reversed, he uh, he died there. Yeah. Actually, with time reversing, I'm gonna say no, it doesn't count. Doesn't count? Doesn't count. But do you still count Yamcha dying? I, Yamcha's died like twice. 
Yamcha died all the times. He died against the Cybermen. He died against, um... Uh, the last Dragon Ball. Luka Village. Boo. But I think those are the only two times he's canonically died in the main uh, timeline. Yeah. Uh, if we include GT, Krillin dies the most. If you include GT. Nobody really dies in Super. No. Um, if, if, you know, one of the, one of the things I have to say about Super is that there, it never feels like there are actual stakes. And the one arc where there are stakes, it's in a doomed timeline, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. It's like, hey, I would like there to be consequences. I want to feel like things matter. Like, they take out all of the blood, all of the battle damage. Nobody, like, they cut down on a lot of the violence and all of the death because they were worried about international markets. And they were like, oh, we want to make sure that they don't have to be censored when they're brought to, you know. Which is silly, because you're playing a show that has that get out of death free card. I, I always felt like it would have been way more poignant if Roshi actually sacrificed himself during the Tournament of Power. Like, they were kind of playing up that he was. Actually, it would have worked really well if you said, no, this is it for me. I helped save every I'm, universe. I'm, I'm saving existence. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay going out like this. And it would have been great because if that would have gotten like a very strong opponent disqualified. I don't or, know. or if it would have just taken that opponent out of the game. Yeah. Um, although, okay, so Piccolo dies in Super. Um, it, it happens so quickly and is he's brought back off screen. With, oh, uh, is, it, is it during the uh, Resurrection thing? F? Yeah, because okay. he. Because I, I never saw that arc. Yeah, well, it's good. It's the worst arc in all of Dragon Ball. It is the worst arc in all of Dragon Ball. I know it's. I know it's one of my least favorite movies. Um, it's it's the worst arc in all of Dragon Ball. The Resurrection F arc is is really 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 bad. Um, it has a couple of cool it, it ideas. It was the epitome that it, of zero stakes. Uh, but hey, we got all the Dragon Balls. Let's use them. Oh, cool. What are we gonna do? Well, uh, I know it says first wish, but you only get one for right now because Dende doesn't exist yet. Ah. So we could bring back. Uh, we want to fight Raditz, Nappa, Dodoria, Zarbon, the Ginyu Force. Uh, we want orbs. Or uh, want to be rich? Those last two, really pointless. Okay. So who would we? Who would you like to bring back? Um, I kind of feel like the Guinea Force. Can mm. I fight the Guinea Force? You can fight, fight the, the Guinea Force. force. Let me As fight the Guinea Force specifically. Awesome. Here, let me fight the Guinea Force. Well, hold on, we're making a goddamn wish. Well, that's gorgeous. And you can do this every twenty minutes. Oh, That's how quick a year passes. Oh, now he's now he's actually stating that at the very beginning. Like hey. skipping that, you have summoned the eternal dragon bullshit. Oh, cool! And and they're scattered. It'll take a little while for them to come back, and I think Bulma's gonna tell us that or something. Yeah, now we can go. Here. What was I saying? Uh, we were talking about how Resurrection F is just kind oh, of yeah. the antithesis of what you're looking for in Dragon Ball. Yeah, I mean, like, first of all, all the fights are, are, look terrible. Really, really bad. Like, Goku versus Frieza is... We're talking the, about the show, right? Yeah. The, the fight in the actual series is one of the worst looking fights ever animated in Dragon Ball. And that's amazing. That's insane. It just looks awful. See, um, I, I hated the movie, and so many people thought it was like a, a lot of like the casuals were like, "Oh no, this is way better than Battle of Gods." What the fuck is? Okay, this? I oh. never thought it was better than Battle of Gods. I just no, yeah, no, but like there were a lot of people like, "Oh man, I like this so much better than Battle of Gods." I'm like, Why? Okay, the the one thing it did actually actually legitimately have over Battle of Gods, the one thing you can't deny is that at least it let the other characters do something. I guess you got to see all your favorite characters really well animated doing their attacks. The problem was that it legitimately meant nothing. Yeah, because, and there were like no stakes. Goku and Vegeta and Frieza all learned their new special technique off screen. Yep. And Super Saiyan Blue was already stronger than Cold Frieza. Yeah. Anyway, here you go. Go ahead and talk to Jice! Jice of the Ginyu Force. Ginyu, by the way, still a frog, so can't be here. All right. Looks like we're gonna beat the. Oh, 38. All right. 
whatever. What are you complaining about the experience points or? Yeah. Just a little bit. You wished us back. What do you mean? What are we doing here? Right. Although it'd be kind of funny to wish them back and they just pop up where Namek used to be and instantly die again. Oh, right. That is how that should have worked. Except for Burder, he's like, nah, I'm fine, I'm out of here. I can breathe, it's about, oh, Jace. Oh, you're looking bluer than me. Oh, God, oh, God. I think he just turned purple. <laughs> yeah, he would turn purple. Let's see, I haven't done that voice in forever. <laughs> I'm not slower than fucking Galdo. Uh. Oh, shit, bone you. Yeah, th this is where they first bring her up. Indeed. I'm not sure how to unlock her specifically. It might be that you have to like wish back every character and fight them, or maybe she shows up at Boo. I'm not sure. Hey, look, this is where he starts to actually develop his poses. Yup. No, the Moss Sand Coast sucks. Yeah, this is this is why I thought you'd actually kind of like this particular one. Yeah. She's you should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. Oh, come on, guys. Don't Let's give him another shot. Let's how test him. I know I just busted power. his neck back on that other planet, but let's see how he's doing. Not here. in this version. Yeah, in this version, he barely even touched him. It was it was all Vegeta. You got it, mate. Oh, does Gildo sit this out? I think he might. Yeah, he does. Oh, well. All right, beat him up. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh no! Don't do, don't do that. This is what happens when you don't keep your team playing this fucking game. It wasn't even a full week this time. We were uh, only oh, four yeah. days out. Yeah, that's true. Wanted to make sure we had stuff for this week. Yeah, we had to. All right, that's it. Is it it? Crush that bull! You're not hitting circle enough. Also, yeah, these guys are gonna be kind of assholes, so you running away from them is actually gonna be worse for you because they're just gonna keep throwing shit at you. To dodge oh that, God. dodge back from him as soon as he reaches you. Erase my ass. He's trying to. What are you All doing? Right. Come on. There tap we again, go. Tap it again. Yeah, like that. Uh, let, oh let, let the whole beam fire out, gotcha. though, because otherwise you only get, like, the first shot out. I see what you're saying. You're out of it. Oh, he's doing his prance! That was amazing! Oh, that was great! Dude. He's fucking on the catwalk. That's great. Oh. Stop. Stop. Ow. Stop. Oh, god damn! These guys are actually a little bit tough. Sure. Ow. Circle. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah the, the other Vita drinks have uh, fallen off hard. We keep them there out of, uh, out of respect for if you really need them. You're gonna need like multiple Vita drinks if you, or multiple regular Vita drinks if you want to do anything now. Oh my god. Once you take out one of them, uh, I usually started with Birder because he was the pain in the dick, but you, you're starting on Raccoon, so just finish him off and you'll be fine. Oh my god, how do you dodge that thing? You dodge back right when he gets to you. Not fire at him. Fuck off. There you go, Raccoon's dead. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to remember how to fucking play. That's what I'm trying to do. There you go, now you're getting it. Fuck off. Hack too fast. Oh, 
Yeah, Burger's gonna be the one getting in your face. Jace is gonna be the one throwing shit at you. That's their combo. Again, wait until he's done firing and then do it again, because you're burning a lot of key doing that. Now. Ah, fuck off. And there you go. You beat the Ginyus. Fair. Fine. Okay. Hey. And you leveled up! Hooray! 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 You gotta be kidding me! Indeed. Hey. I did nothing! Yep. <laughs> now, now you must face our strongest fighter, Galdo! He actually is one of the hard, like, in terms of boss fights for the Ginyus, Goldo is actually the most difficult. I remember that! Because he just keeps supercharging through bullshit. Either way. We'll see what we got next time on Kakarot. We got the yeah, Pogs! Ginyu Pogs!